for because this time we are going to do a video of um, nail trimming. So first, a disclaimer, I am not a professional. Do I do it right? I don't know, it works for my dogs and they have generally short nails, but I did miss clipping them last week so they're longer than I'd like. But um, I clip my dog's nails once a week and I use a Dremel after I've clipped it. So it's backwards, but I don't know how to fix it. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, so this one that I have is, it's corded right now, but it's just because I'm charging it, but it's cordless. So you can use it anywhere. And I like that because you can get into like some weird angles while you're trying to do it. So it's easier if the cord's not available. Um, also, Ruby doesn't love her nails to be done, so I kind of just do it wherever she is. So it's easier if I don't have to kind of plan to be around a plug. Um, I'm gonna do it on Triple's nails to show you. Um, I had a request for it, my first request. Hey, Andrea. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do uh, a little, like show how to do it and whatever. Now I always use nail clippers first to clip off all of the excess stuff. Cause I find if you dremel in this, like the same nail for too long, it can get a little bit hot. So I like to clip off the extra nail and then use the dremel just to get it that much shorter. And then also smoother because I always think like, if my dog's like scratching with their back paw and it's all sharp, I don't want them to scratch their skin. Like I just want them to get the itch. So if we round the nails nice, then it would be super comfortable. So I'm going to um, get triple out. They don't live in their crates. They're just in there because we just got home from McDonald's and I haven't taken them out yet. And I'm going to uh, take them out one at a time and do their nails. Otherwise Ruby gets sad in a corner and doesn't want her nails done. Whatever. But she's good. They're good enough. Anyways, so uh, first up will be triple. Now he doesn't love this either, but nobody really loves it. No, Ruby, you gotta wait. Okay, Triple, come. Oh, he knows what's up. <laughs> you choose to stay in there, Triple, here. Okay, come, come. Triple, come. You're getting your nails done, lie down. The other thing I always do, lie down. Triple, stay here. Come here, lie down. The other thing I always do is I do their nails with them lying down. Um, sometimes I'll do them standing up, but because I don't have a grooming table, I find it easier if they're lying down. And then I also find that they are e like it's a little bit easier for them to relax if they're lying down. And then also all of those weird angles that you get, that you have to get in there to get them, um, I find it's easier if they're lying down. And then I can like switch sides on them and all that stuff. I know, buddy. We're doing it. So uh, I've rolled him over onto his other side so that that foot's on the bottom. So it's easier to hold. I'm sorry, buddy, I know. But this one has to go. If he had his way, he would, this foot would have nice long nails. So he's going to be bad for this one. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, you can't really see where the quick ends, but I can, which is good because if I couldn't. And then the black ones, uh, I know some people have problems with it. If you look from underneath, you can see perfectly fine where the quick ends. So just clip uh, just after that. And then when you file, you can kind of just file around the quick. Um, to kind of, to help it disappear and suck back in. So like even if your dogs have really long nails, um, if you do a little clip once a week, you can get their nails short. And some people like to say, oh no, my dog just has long quicks. Well, no, that's just because you went a long time without clipping them. We all do it. My Chili, my Jack Russell has like dragon nails because she's old and I don't clip her nails very often. She's good for it, but she, uh, I don't know, I feel like she likes long nails and now that she's old and doesn't do much, she uh, can have them. In the summer, I clip them more because she does more running, but in the winter, she's happy to have a little bit longer nails. But these two grown up. 
we got dark short nails. So if you can just see, like I don't know how much you can see, but I just go around the edge and kind of give the nail back its natural shape while exposing the quick so that, oh, forgot to put on turbo, while exposing the quick so that the quick um, sucks back triple. You have hairy, hairy toes. I better do that too. So it took me a little while to get a good technique of it first, but um, I uh, but then I figured it all out. And, 